Thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, I want to take a minute to tell you about a new app called Get Upside that we at the Rideshare Guy have been using to save up to 25 cents per gallon on gas. Pretty awesome. The app is completely free to use. All you have to do is upload your receipt after you buy gas and then cash gets added to your account. The cash adds up over time and you can deposit your funds straight to your PayPal account whenever you want. Some drivers are using GetUpside to save $50 per week just buying gas from their favorite gas stations. So now listen closely because this deal gets even better. I'm going to give you a short code that'll get you an additional $0.15 cents per gallon sign-up bonus. So you just download the GetUpside app from the App Store, open the app, and enter the promo code. It's WQ8JR. Now, another way you can get your $0.15 cent per gallon sign-up bonus is to visit the rideshareguy.com forward slash GetUpside app. That's G-E-T and then Upside, U-P-S-I-D-E, and then app, A-P-P. Check it out. All right, let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. It is Jay, and it is Wednesday, December 4th. It is about 8.48 in the morning. The rain is falling hard. I'm sitting in my office. I actually have my coat on because it's a little cold. I got the door open because I like that rainy smell in my room. And today's episode is uh, uh, five things to look forward to in December. This is the third month I've done this, and I, I really like this episode because it lets me share with you uh, five either uh, TV shows, podcasts, movie, book, music that I think is uh, worth checking out. And uh, while you're driving around out there, uh, this might open up some, some ideas for you of some great ways to, to spend your time. Um, gosh, what, what a month so far. I don't know if you know this, but I'm also the advertising manager for the Rideshare Guy. And uh, we're having a good week. A lot of people want to want to reach out and, and, and re talk to you guys. <laughs> talk to the Rideshare drivers out there. So uh, it's been really fun uh, working with Harry and working with uh, these different companies that, um, you know, provide products and services that could be of value to us, you know, to Rideshare drivers. All right, so let's get into it. I'm going to start off with a TV show. So I had heard about this TV show called The Morning Show. So uh, you've probably seen some advertisements for it. It's a, a show that stars uh, Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon and Steve Carell. And it is uh, about a morning show, sort of like Good Morning America or Today. And... Um, at the first uh, episode of the show, uh, Steve Carell is uh, uh, accused of sexual misconduct. He's uh, the co-host of the show with Jennifer Aniston. So he's off the show. So this is a show that really deals with uh, sexual misconduct, the Me Too movement. Um, later episodes get into the, the, the California wildfires. It's about women working together, men and women working together. Uh, corporate dynamics, corporal, corporate politics. I, I was not going to get this because it's on um, the Apple TV 
a new streaming service. And then I saw an article about this show, about how not many people are watching it, because it's on Apple. And uh, the first uh, couple of episodes were free. So I thought, well, I've got a, an Apple computer and I've got an Apple phone. Why don't I would just watch the first two and see what I think? So I watched the first one. I thought, this is really good. And then I watched the second one. And I thought, well, for $5 a month, I'll sign up for Apple TV. And if after a month or two, I don't really find it's worthwhile, you know, then, I'll, then I'll, I can always drop it, right? So what's $5 a month? So I am now an Apple TV uh, streaming uh, service subscriber, along with my uh, YouTube TV, my Hulu. I also have HBO and Showtime. And uh, I guess that's it. So um, good show, The Morning Show. Check out the first two episodes. You can get them for free just by downloading the app. Uh, if you have a Mac or, a, or an iPhone, really easy to do. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it. And if you like it as much as I did, you'll spend the $5 to uh, subscribe and watch uh, the next. Uh, so far, there's been seven episodes released uh, for the first season. All right. So that's number one, the morning show. Number two is uh, something I haven't done before. It is a podcast which I have not listened to yet. I've listened to just the first like 10 minutes of it, and I'm so excited to listen to it. So this is by one of my favorite um, authors and speakers, uh, a guy named Sam Harris, and he has a podcast called Making Sense, Making Sense with Sam Harris. And his uh, episode number 177 came out this week. Uh, number 177 is called Psychedelic Science, a conversation with Roland Griffiths. Right. So and then um, if you look at his website, Sam Harris's website, he has a an image here from Alex Gray. Um, so if you've dabbled at all in psychedelics, you know, Alex Gray is kind of a world renowned uh, artist who kind of captures some of the imagery that you see in your visions when you drink, uh, for example, ayahuasca or, uh, or or smoke DMT, anything like that. So in this episode. Um, Sam Harris and uh, this uh, Roland Griffiths uh, kind of talk about the the science, um, the science behind um, psychedelic experiences, and they talk about all kinds of different uh, experiences that one could have, and they look at meditation and how meditation impacts the mind relative to how psychedelics impact the mind. So really, really fascinating stuff. I'll read, I'll read exactly what it says here. It says, in this episode of the Making Sense podcast, Sam Harris speaks with Roland Griffiths about the current state of research on psychedelics. They discuss the historical prohibition against their use, the clinical and scientific promise of psilocybin, mescaline, LSD, DMT, MDMA, and other compounds. They've been, uh, just as, this is just me saying this, they're finding that um, some of these substances are really, really helpful for people with PTSD. Um, the risks associated with these drugs, the role of set and setting, the difference between psychedelics and drugs of abuse, MDMA and neurotoxicity, experiences of unity, sacredness, love and truth, the long-term consequences of psychedelic experiences, synthetic versus natural drugs, the prospects of devising new psychedelics, microdosing, that's something Tim Ferriss has talked about a lot, research on psilocybin and long-term meditators, the experience of encountering other apparent beings, that's fascinating because uh, that's, uh, in my experience, that happens quite a bit uh, where you're in the presence of another being that you can actually interact with, ask questions of, sometimes get advice from, um, psilocybin treatment of addiction and other topics. And then in the afterward, um, Sam discusses his experience on a large dose of psilocybin, his first psychedelic experience in 25 years. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to this podcast episode. And if that psychedelics has any interest to you, um, you know Sam Harris is really smart. Uh, so it's going to be a very uh, bristling and intelligent uh, discussion of psychedelics. So check that out. That is the Making Sense podcast, episode number 177, called Psychedelic Science. And uh, you can Google that, uh, Making Sense Psychedelic Science, and you'll t be taken right to the page uh, that has more of a description. 
Okay. Number three, a movie I have not seen, but I have had many people tell me they're so excited about seeing this movie. It comes out on December 6th, which is Friday. Okay. So Friday of this week. It, it's a movie called Marriage Story, and it's going to be available on Netflix. A uh, TV guide called it the best movie of the year. So I'll read what it says here. Marriage Story is a 2019 American comedy drama film written and directed by Noah Baumbach. The film stars Scarlett Johansson, Adam Driver, Laura Dern, wow, Alan Alda, wow, Ray Liotta of uh, Goodfellas fame, Julie Haggerty from uh, Airplane fame, uh, and a few other. Oh, and Merritt Weaver uh, from uh, Nurse Jackie fame. She's awesome. Following a married couple going through a coast-to-coast divorce, so um, it's it's just getting a lot of uh, a lot of love from critics, and it's going to be free for all of us to watch it as long as you're subscribed to Netflix. So you have a Netflix account that will be out on Friday. Check it out marriage story all right number four is a classic book that i'm going to recommend i'm going to assume there are many of you out there who are creative who um i don't know you're right you do something creative right you maybe maybe you do your own podcast um you're driving around in your car you're thinking of ideas this wonderful book is called the war of art So there's another book called The Art of War. This book is called The War of Art. And it's a 2002 nonfiction book written by uh, Stephen Pressfield. And what it says here on Wikipedia is the book highlights the forms of resistance faced by artists, entrepreneurs, athletes, and others who are trying to break through creative barriers. This book is just, uh, it's a seminal book. It is so good. If you are a writer, which I am, I uh, I just adore this book, and it just spoke to me so much. I'm going to read to you just one uh, one little paragraph, and uh, basically the author uh, was complaining. You know, uh, uh, he says I was crushed. Here I was, 42 years old, divorced, childless, having given up all normal human pursuits to chase the dream of being a writer. Now I finally got my name on a big-time Hollywood production starring Linda Hamilton, and what happens? I'm a loser, a phony, my life is worthless, and so am I. Then his friend, Tony Keppelman, he says, My friend Tony Keppelman snapped me out of it by asking if I was going to quit. Hell no! Then Tony says, Then be happy. You're where you want to be, aren't you? So you're taking a few blows. That's the price of being in the arena and not on the sidelines. Stop complaining and be grateful. I just love that, right? That's the price uh, for being in the arena and not on the sidelines. Stop complaining and be grateful. I, I, I believe we all want to be in the game. The worst thing is to be on the sidelines, right? Thinking, what if, and oh, if only I could. So to actually be in the game... Um, is 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 the thing, right? It's not really even if you win or lose. You're, you're, you're in the game. You're going for it. And he says, that's the price for being in the arena and not on the sidelines. Stop complaining and be grateful. So this book is just chock full of uh, things like that that will just uh, kind of rearrange the way you, you think. Um, any feeling of victimhood will be uh, banished from your system. So check out this uh, great book called the War of Art, break through the blocks and win your inner creative battles. And if you have friends who are creative, this is a fantastic gift for Christmas. The War of Art, okay, by Stephen Pressfield. Really great. All right, number five is a CD, which uh, came out last year. But uh, can you ever go wrong with Bob Dylan? I don't think so. So he came out with a, a, a an album called More Blood, More Tracks. So way back, Bob Dylan came out with a, a an album called Blood on the Tracks. And this is those same songs, but all done in a little bit of a different, uh, slowered down version, which I actually, I actually prefer um, quite a bit. 
So, for example, um, if you've ever heard a simple twist of fate, listen to how this one starts. That's just sort of slower and twangy. There's just more more space between the notes. So that's how this whole album is. It's just these classic songs, Shelter from the Storm, Idiot Wind, right? Tangled Up in Blues, If You See Her Say Hello, just slow down. And, and it's, it's more intimate. So fantastic, fantastic. Um, highly recommend it. And you don't even have to go out and buy music anymore. You just uh, you find it on Spotify. So it's called Bob Dylan, More Blood, More Tracks. I've talked to many people who are huge Bob Dylan fans, and I said, have you checked it out? And they didn't even know it had come out. So it's out, and it is fantastic. So check it out. All right, that is it. Five things to look forward to in December. So to recap, The Morning Show, a TV program called The Morning Show, starring Jennifer Aniston on, a, on Apple TV+. Plus. The Making Sense podcast, episode number 177 on psychedelics. A movie called, the Mar- called Marriage Story coming out on Netflix on December 6th on Friday. The seminal book, The War of Art, Break through the blocks and win your inner creative battles, either for yourself or a gift for everybody in your life who has a creative bone in their body. And then the bootleg series, More Blood, More Tracks, by the one and only, a living legend. We're privileged to listen to this man's music as long as we have. It's a ridiculous abundance of gifts. Bob Dylan, More Blood, More Tracks. Y'all go out and have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love drivers. Fist bump. You guys are awesome. Driving out there, doing your thing. I'll be out there this weekend in San Francisco. Hopefully it's not raining. And uh, we'll see how much money I can make in three days driving in the city. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there. Bye-bye. If you're thinking about starting an online business, definitely check out my website at nomadj.com where you can get my free ebook called What's Next? How to Do Online Work You Love from Anywhere in the World. That is nomadjay.com. I also do a daily one minute per day podcast called Nomad Daily in which I share different aspects of life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Creator is available wherever you get your podcasts. People are really liking it. Check it out. You just uh, subscribe, and then every day you're just gonna it's gonna automatically load up, and you're gonna get the next episode, and you just listen for a minute to a minute and a half, and boom, you're done, and uh, it's great. I really enjoy doing that. All right, next episode, more news, interviews, all things rideshare dojo for drivers and all of us in the gig economy. I will do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater saying thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.